me, I don't know. They just ain't biting today, they ain't. Maybe if you beat it with a little bit of bacon. Listen, Reaver, if I had a little bit of bacon, I'd eat it myself. And that famished, I'd even go and beg for a, a mouthful of the uh, blooming natives. No chance there. We're taboo with them, since the commissioner labeled us as undesirable characters. Oh, we means prejudice. Give us 30 days to get off this creeping island. Where are we going to find a ship that's willing to take us, I ask you? Scratch my back like a good fellow, will you? I've got to get me a fish before I starve. I think I'll try me luck in the lagoon. You come in, Reaver. Eric about to take his bath. Look at him using soap, no less. He's just as much on the beach as we are, but he wouldn't so much as give you the time of day. I'll leave him be. No matter how low a man gets, he's still entitled to choose his own company. I don't like the fella, but he might know where we can catch a bite to eat. Hey, look, he's in trouble. Help! Quicksand. Where are you going, Reaver? That much danger. Hold on. I'll catch out. Why did you fall in yourself? Looks like all you want life. He could have lost it, only could. I always pay off, no matter how long it takes. Here's my hand on it. No need. Sounds like a blooming gambler. That isn't so far from the truth. Come on, you better get cleaned up. I mean, I ain't half hungry. It's funny, when it's so hot in the daytime, it gets so rotten cold at night. Yeah. Cold as Christmas. Back in New York, it's a different kind of cold. Well, last Christmas, I was... Oh, yes, I suppose you was in the old oak hall with a blazing fire and a bowl of steaming punch. Three years ago, I was planning to be home for Christmas. With presents for my kids. Home for Christmas. Well, why don't you go there then and stop jawing about it? That's hardly a fair question, is it? Oh, that's fair enough, son. I have it coming to me. My name's not Reaver. It's Lachlan. Of the Sea Corsair. You mean you was that ship's captain? What? Shut up. Blimey, look at his ring. That ought to be good for a meal or two. Oh, you don't. Here he's got jewelry on him, and I'm starving to death. Why don't you do something about it? Go steal one of the commissioner's prize pigs. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Ah, oh, you could never eat a whole pig. Well, that's all right. See, what we couldn't eat right now, we could smoke for later. <laughs> serve breakfast around here. 
Look, a schooner. About 120 ton, I'd say. And Yankee, too, by the regular. What's her name? Here, yeah, hand me my glass. Danny, I mean, Paul and old boy with your other trinkets. She's flying a yellow flag. Yes, yeah, so she is. Pestilence aboard. What I wouldn't give for my own ship. What do you think the commissioner will do with us? Send us to the penal colony, probably. Oh, what's the difference? One beach is as good as another. You do not know what you're saying. You've never seen those men. Those men with shaved heads, prowling around in gangs like wolves. How do you know? I got away. I got away, but I will be dead. Will they take me back? I don't you believe him. Everybody's just trying to scare us. Well, he ain't gonna scare me. That's the name I go by. You come pretty quick. Who wants me? You know make talk. Come pretty quick. Us? No, him. Well, goodbye. Let's get on. Oh, there goes one less mouth to feed. Don't be a fool. You're going to take him and not us? Huh? Yeah, I ain't going to die in no slave corner. All right. You let me out of here, will you? You jailer, come here. Don't let me out of here. Stop, stop. There is a way out of here, will you? Be quiet. Oh, I can't dig anymore. Come on and dig. I gotta touch a lumbago every time I get. Dick, you wanna wind up in that penal colony? Ahoy the house! Ahoy the house! Captain, I mean that ain't beer. Beer it is, and plenty of it. Sausage. They make a hole. Look. Oh, all right, all right, go on, get out. I thought we'd never see you again. Same with me. Oh, just get me hands on the bottle. Boys, I got a ship. No. It's my big chance at last. Who give you a ship? The commissioner. He sits me down, and he says, I know you've lost your papers, but you can sail a ship. And there's one here I've got to get out of Tahua immediately. It's the Seaward, out of Frisco for Sydney with a cargo of California champagne. Well, what's wrong with the ship? Smallpox. The captain and mate died of it. The Kanaka crew were as good as lost. Well, now when I navigate them, well, I'll navigate them. I even got my things out of heart. Well, that's fine. You bet it is. Shipping you as mate. Me? I'm no sailor. And you're going to be steward, Hewish. Okay, Governor. It's all set. Then we're free here? I told him I'd choose my own hands. There's no time to waste. Lad, me there, Stuart. Come on, mister. We weigh anchor in an hour. Aye, aye, sir. Boys, I've got my own ship. Captain, I want you to know I'm grateful. For what? My life, for one thing. For this. It makes me feel I belong to something. I understand that. I wish there was some other way I could say it. Maybe you'll have a chance to, sooner than you think. That's a silly crew. Hey, Captain, here. What is? What do you make of this? It's a stocking, female. Find it down below. Do you know what I think? I think this here good Captain Wishart who commanded the ship had a female companion. Who cares? Why, John, who cares? You can't make a neckerchief out of it. Reminds me of my home and my mother. Better keep your mind off that for a while. How many days before we get to Sydney, Captain? Now, what do you plan to do when we get to Sydney? Draw me pay, of course. Resume me social life. Oh, very nice. Only what pay? We've already spent what's coming to us to get our dinner job and pay for our bills. Blimey, are we working for the dead horse? Well, that's the way it is. Unless we didn't go for Sydney. Didn't go for Sydney? I was just thinking. If we should run for Peru now. Peru? But I thought we were supposed yes, to... Yes, I know. But in Peru, we might be able to sell our cargo at the pierhead. And the schooner after it. 
struck me stone dead. You mean steal a ship? Now, that's what I call a blooming brainwave, Governor. Yeah, take it. Don't do it, Captain. You've got a ship again. You've got a chance for a new life. Don't throw it away like this. What do you want me to do when I deliver this cargo? Go back on the beach again? But you'll get another ship. Never. You forget the sea cusser. You're not the first captain who ever lost a ship. The way I lost her. Might as well have bored a hole in her. But something will turn up in Sydney. With my reputation? No. No papers, no ship. I tell you, boy, I'm finished. This is my last chance. Don't do it, Captain. What do you want me to do? Go over the side? I mean, I can't go over the side. I've got mouths to feed. An old woman and three kids at home, and they're hard up. But you'll be caught. Not if you stand by me. I tell you, boy, I'm desperate. You say you owe me something. Then stand by me and back me up. It's no good stealing. I know. Oh, yes, me lord. What did you do to get yourself kicked out of jolly old America, eh? Run off with your best pal's wife, did you? Or was it some little uh, anky banky with the cards? So much as they had on me, I'll talk to you. So Lay, I'll off. Talk. Lay off, both of you. I didn't start Hold your tongue. I'm the captain here. So do as I say. We're for Peru. Ready to come about? Stand by the main sheet, Mr. Hurt. Don't change your course. You're taking the ship into Sydney. Strike me up a blooming gum tree. Who are you? Don't come any nearer. I'm Faith Wishart, Captain Wishart's daughter. You mean the one that died? He died carrying out orders, if you understand what that means. He was taking this cargo into Sydney, and that's where it's going. Oh, yeah? Shut up. Are you planning to stand there and point that at me until we berth in Sydney? You'll have a stiff arm, miss, if you wait that long. I don't have to stand here. I can watch you from below. Oh, so you were listening, eh? And what if I was? It's what I call being dishonorable. Oh, you're a fine lot of thieves to talk about honor. Stealing my ship. Your ship? My father was part owner. Now that he's dead, I... Now, look here, miss. Stay where you are. Now, don't be foolish, miss. What can you do? I can make you deliver this cargo into Sydney. The crew is with me. I can see that. They hid you. I've got all the arms on the ship. I can use them if I have to. Now, don't change your course. A bit of flop. I wouldn't have had this happen for anything. Oh, I don't know. It uh, has its advantages. Don't you be getting any ideas. Oh, you want it for yourself, do you? You leave me alone, Captain. Stop him picking on me. Nothing's changed here. You leave that girl alone. Me? I wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. You're going through with it, Captain? My kids mean more to me than Captain Wishart's kid. Now, ready about. I warn you. And I warn you, miss, I'm the only man aboard who can handle the ship. It's Peru or the bottom. And it wouldn't be the first one he's put down there, would he, Captain? Ready about! Main sheet, Mr. Herrick. through the promoters. You'll have to watch it. Dead reckoning. I'm afraid it'll be a long time before I can... No, no, baby can do it. 
Here, I'll show you. Uh, where's my sextant? Hand me that box, will you? This is an old timer, like me. Looks good. Been a long time, but a man doesn't forget. Say, she's a beauty. That was the sea corsair. Oh. The most beautiful bark that ever sailed the Eastern Ocean. She was the same as a fine lady. Drunk in my berth when she struck. You didn't know I was a drunkard, did you? I'm sorry, Captain. You should have had sense enough to get down with her. Forget it, it's all over. All over. And this is, what did you call it? Fresh start. Got my family to think about. Two boys, you know. Great. And a girl, too. Ada. She's the oldest. And I'll bet she's a favorite. Well, she's a girl, and... Say, where's that wishing girl? She went on deck, sir. No, this won't do. She's got to eat. Where's that steward? The peanut, sir. Him and steward go down the forward hole. A hole? Now, what business has he I'll got? Go down and get him. No, mister. I'll attend to him myself. If I sit here? Are you always so polite when you rob a girl? Well, you know I couldn't let the captain down. Oh, of course not. He's such a great man, plotting to steal a ship and cargo and dragging you into it. Why do you let him? He's nothing but a common thief. Is that all you make of him? The poor devil's trying to get back on his feet again. It's his last chance. I'm going to help him to it. At my expense? Yes, or anybody else's. Including your own. Well, he's not worth it. What do you know about it? That's all I want to know. Well, I'm banking on him. I've got a bank on him. Yeah, I want some of my money. Oh, 
I was just a clerk, a common clerk, as you might say. There's more to me than meets the eye, behind the ears, talent. I knew how far off course we were. my share in the ship, but I'll give it to you. Sounds like bribery. No thanks. You are tired. Let me get you some wine. No. I'm not breaking into cargo. Proud, aren't you? Of being so frightfully decent. Quite the gentleman. Different from that horrible cockney. Better than that drunken captain. Oh, you make me sick. You're the worst of the lot. They never knew any better, but you had something and you've got against it. You're worse than they are. What happened to the chest that was here? My father's things. Captain Papina told me to take him away. Where'd you put it? There's some papers on that. In the in after hole, Missy. I'd like to have a word with you, miss. What do you want? I heard you telling off his arm. You said a couple of minutes ago, you plucky little thing you are. Thanks. Now you know where he stands. Now, me, miss, oh, I, I could be reasonable. Have to wonder if you could find a couple of kisses. Come on, now. Come on. 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 Come Get the throat! 
She'll be all right. We got the fire out. Most of the stores have gone. Yeah. You were right. If I hadn't been drunk, what's the use? But I'm sober now. And I'll stay sober, I swear it. You'll be sorry if you let me down. I won't, son. Drunken sir. What do I mean? I mean what I say. Taste it for yourself. It's water, and not salt water either. Well, did I tell you? Where'd you get it? Well, uh, well I got it out of that mere case. Water it is. What's that mean? We'll see what it means. Stole old cargo of spring water. <laughs> we had it coming to us. You know what I think? This Captain Wishard was a crook. Hey, Captain, come here. What you make of this? Yeah, look. What do you make out of this? That's it. Sulfuric, probably. Sulfuric. So, so, that's the stuff what burns a bloke. That's just what it is. <laughs> Young man, enough of that stuff to burn an old right through the bottom of this blue minoka. Yeah, that's just what there's enough to do. And he knew it. Who, him? No. Wish it. Captain Wish it. You don't mean that there noble captain had it in his mind, did you? Only he died first. <laughs> and this was our chance. Our big chance. <laughs> our fresh start. Haven't you done enough damage? Do you have to wreck the cargo, too? We ain't exactly having much of my call fun, Ducky. You see that? Water. What? The whole cargo's water. It's champagne. It's water. How much do you know about this business? Now, wait a minute. What business? A cargo like this, it means only one thing. Cheating the insurance company. How do you do that? You sink the ship. And who does that? The captain. Sink the ship? Here, take a look. Acid. Burning acid. If it wasn't to sink the ship, what did your father have it on board for? That's not true. He didn't. He'd never. No, no, he never. He was a bit of all right, he was, wasn't he? We ain't fit to lick his blooming boots, are we? It's your trick at the wheel, isn't it? Leave your own eyes, my girl. Maybe now you won't throw any more stones at us. But 
joke's on us, you know. You really ought to laugh. Big joke, isn't it? To find out your own father. But you didn't know. But I should have. He was so dead set against my coming with him. Then why did you? Oh, he was so lonely after my mother died. I thought if I came to see you with him... He shouldn't have let you. He didn't find me till we were three days out. I guess maybe I killed him. You're imagining things. It's all so clear now. He had this job to do, but he couldn't sink her with me aboard, so he put in for one of the islands. He sent me ashore. But there was that epidemic. Smallpox. I see. That's how he caught it. It was my fault. No, it wasn't. <laughs> He hadn't have had this, this fake cargo. But he wouldn't have if it hadn't been for me. <laughs> he was trying to make up for his losses. Like your captain, I guess. I wouldn't have cared what he was doing. Don't you see? Of course. <laughs> now, don't. We're all in the same fix. <laughs> we'll work something out. Trust me. I don't trust anybody anymore. this? New Ireland, presumably of volcanic origin. If such an island exists, which is doubted by South Sea traders, it would, from pirate interest, remain unknown. Well, what does that mean? Just one thing. Pearls. Blimey, pearls. What are about, mister? But, Captain, it's... What are about? Sign of life. And I got a feeling like somebody was watching us. There's an English flag fly. Missy not know what under him flag. Island bad. You stay in cabin. Nonsense. Him very bad, Missy. I know. You stay in cabin. What do you know? You, you stay in cabin.
well, Ducky. Well, you head off some ship. But how did she get here? Must be someone around. I wonder why they don't show themselves. Let's get on. at least it took to make this collection. Ghosts could only talk. You're too impulsive, Noah. The gentleman wasn't meaning any harm to the equipment. To what am I indebted for this pleasure, gentlemen? Well, mister, we lost our stores in a fire. How unfortunate. The most out of food. I see. Thought you wouldn't mind letting us lay up here for a while. I hope as how we uh, don't intrude, Governor. I'm sorry, but the place did look deserted, so we thought that. And so you thought you'd look around. Yeah, that's right, Governor. Well, perhaps after all, it's fortunate you came. My own schooner is long overdue. Maybe we can help you out. If it's a cargo, you. Oh, you open to a charter? Yes, Governor. Anything in an honest way, as you might say. My name is Atwater. I take it that you're the captain of this uh, crew. Yes, sir. Lachlan. Lachlan. He will be the start. There we are. He's captain on ship, all right, but on land we're all equals, eh? Oh. Yeah, one's as good as the other. Obviously. And your name? My name's Herrick. I'm mate on board. Phi Sigma Beta. Wonderful. You two? Cambridge. Yale. <laughs> well, this is a queer place and company for us to meet in, Mr. Herrick. <laughs> Blimey, they're large brothers. A bit of luck. Yes. Well, that was a long way back. Seems you have a regular army here. Small, but efficient. Seven, not all I have left. Left? Did you have an epidemic here? Two years ago. Thirty-four deaths out of forty-one souls on the island. It's a strange way to calculate, is it not, Mr. Herrick? Souls. <laughs> I never say it, but it strikes me. So that's why it's... Quite. That is why the house is empty and the graveyard full. Excuse me being inquisitive, but what's all this? Fancy dress? We find them useful. I dare say. Well, gentlemen, shall we go? Oh, wait a minute. Just between pals, as you might say, you didn't go to all this trouble just to collect seashells, did you? No. There were pearls. Oh, the island has its fascinations. Well, gentlemen, shall we go? I'd like to stay for a while, if you don't mind. This is all new to me. Well, I'll stay and explain it to you, Cap. See, science comes easy to me, second nature, you might say. Really? Hmm. Well, so long as you don't touch anything, I'll leave you... Uh, scientists together. It's a headache, I'm sure. We'd like to have a wash. Yes, thanks. You know, in an hour, gentlemen. Oh, yes. Oh, crikey, yes. Crikey, 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 chillin' up one of a door. His troops have gone after him. He's bombed me, if you ask me. He's taken a fancy to Herrick. Yes, and that ain't helping us any. No. We gotta help ourselves. Listen, Herrick. You were born a gentleman. What on earth are you doing with those two scoundrels? Scoundrels? You think I'm blind? Perhaps it's just as well you're not. Oh. You warning me? I don't think you need any warning. You're right. No harm can come to me while I'm doing my appointed work. You mean fishing for pearls? I mean fishing for men. I was sent here to give these islanders what they need. The bearer of the sword and the scourge. From groveling heathen, I have given them something to believe in. God. Me. Uncle Ned, there's a white man there. I saw him. Let's eat supper. But he might be able to help us. No, Missy, no. He might learn bad. 
think so? All right, I'll take your word for it. Good, Missy, good. Mm, nice supper. Where did you get all this food? I thought we were running short. Uncle Ned hide him food for Missy. Uncle Ned, do you think there are any sharks in this lagoon? No sharks, no. Suppose he has got pearls. Well, what about it? Well, he's just a man like us, no matter what he thinks. Now you're talking. He's been robbing the government for years. Yes? Well, he's no better than a blasted criminal. You'll watch yourself at dinner. You know, Captain, you're a bit of all right, you are. I always said so. like this all the time? I can't afford to let down. Someday, you see, I may go home. After you've um, fished the lagoon dry, I suppose, eh? Not as I would wish to intrude on your secrets, Governor. Oh, I have done rather well for myself. As a matter of fact, I have a considerable fortune in pearls here in the house. Perhaps you'd like to see them. Oh, no, no, that's not at all necessary. Well, I mean, you seem to do yourself pretty well, Governor. Very pretty. Too pretty. That's why I had her married to Joseph here. I've given them all biblical names. It amuses me. And you think that marriage is a safeguard? A man never knows when he may be inclined to make a fool of himself about women. No, no. No, don't tell them. What's the meaning of this disturbance? David, him steal wine. What? You caught him stealing? I dare say you've been wondering how justice is dispensed here. Now you shall see. David, you know that the all-seeing and supreme one would know if you stole. You must pay for your crime. The pit. No, no, supreme master. No pit. Go. Your soul will be washed clean. First time here, Miss Steele. David, my brother, first time. Master all supreme, not a pit. You no. dare to touch me! Go to the pit. What are you going to do with them? Justice must be served. But you can't Don't be a fool, Herrick. I can't afford to temper justice here or I should be lost. <coughs> well, gentlemen, what do you think of my justice? You don't know what justice is, you cold-blooded hypocrite. Don't you realize you just killed a man? You consider the men, them, when they think me a god. I don't know what you've done to bewitch them. But you've played a god so long you believe it yourself. You're nothing but a murderous madman. Eric, I could kill you for that and no one to answer to. But I never kill in anger, Eric. And furthermore, to show you how kind I really am, I'll, I'll let you have the stores you need. After you beg my pardon, of course. Of course. I'll see you dead first. <laughs> now, gentlemen, shall we finish our dinner? Righto, Governor. Come on, what's all the blooming fuss about? He's only a native anyway. Come on. In a minute. sense of justice here. Seems we shall have the pleasure of a little tete-a-tete. -tete. I think we'll have a time for a couple, Governor. <laughs> like water, you might say. The old blooming cargo of water. Mm -hmm. Now, what we 
we've been in Angola now. We've been in Angola so long, cargo and spring water. <laughs> Not really. So. Well, the captain thought he got up so blooming early in the morning. He'd have to get up a lot earlier than that, Mr. Hewish, to be a match for you. Right you are, Governor. You know what I says to myself? I says, if there's an island, I says, there's pearls, you see? Uh -huh. And I says, um, if there's an island, I, I says, there's um, pearls. Right. And I says, if there's pearls, we'll have them. <laughs> the ship. Take your time. We gotta get out of this place. Listen now, we can't put to sea again without any food. That water's a madman. And we're at his mercy. So we've got a right to protect ourselves, haven't we? What are you driving at? Stand by me, son. He's not fit to live. Murder? It's him or us. There's no other way. Oh, you can't do it. Just back me up. No! All right. I'll do it alone. No, you won't. Get back to the ship. No. Better you go and warn him, eh? So he can kill me like he did that brown fella. Go ahead. You know I can't do that. Well, then. You're not going. What's she doing here? Just a minute, miss. You can't stop me. Where are you going? To the man who runs this place. You can't. He's insane. Oh, of course you'd say that. You better get back on the schooner. I've had enough of you. You can't go to him. Faith. Don't try to stop me. You're no better than the others. You haven't seen that man. You don't know what you're getting into. I'll take that chance. Let go of me. Let... You're not going near him. It's none of your concern. Of course it is. It's always been my concern from the first. Don't you see? Then you will help me with this man. And we'll take the ship back from those two. No, Atwater's a maniac. You don't understand. I do understand. This was just some more of your trickery. You just didn't want me to tell this Atwater about you and your thieving friends. that gun and put up your hands. Well, 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 well. You seem to me to be a very tuppenny halfpenny party, Captain Lachlan. I'm going to return your Mr. Hewish to you. He talks a great deal when he drinks, but I'm quite done with him now. March towards the steps. on this island again, you won't leave it alive. Mr. Atwater? Yes? Mr. Atwater, I'm Faith Wishard, owner of the Seaward. How do you know? I don't know what they told you, but if you could possibly help us, we need food. I'm sure that could be arranged. If you'll accept my hospitality, we, we'll go and find you some dry clothes, yes? Yeah? Thank you. Atwater. Yes, Mr. Herrick? I'm uh, 
I'm sorry I lost my temper. I came back to beg your pardon. Forget what I said. Uh... But of course, my dear fellow. Shall we go in? So you can't imagine, Miss Wishart, what a pleasure it's been for me to have you as my guest tonight. I'm the one who is grateful. <laughs> uh, Mr. Atwater, about the stores. You will let us have them. Hmm? Uh, in the morning, uh, we'll arrange things. And now, Miss Wishart's tired. Bathsheba, show Miss Wishart to the guest room. Uh, Joseph will take care of the gentleman. Good night, Mr. Atwater. Thank you. Atwater. In the morning, Mr. Herrick. In the morning. Joseph? Yes, Tafina? What makes you think Atwater is supreme master, a god? Tafina, Atwater, supreme, all is strong. No, Joseph, he's a man just like me, like you. Him, a god, all supreme. But why? What makes you say that? Big sickness come, many of my brothers die. Tafina, him, keep god water. Us drink god water, we live. Who not drink god water, then die. Oh, the plague. <laughs> but, Joseph, that was just medicine he gave you. No, no. God water. Him supreme. God. You prefer sleeping on steps to a bed, Mr. Herring? Well, I... I thought I ought to, uh... Well, that is, Atwater might... Oh, don't be silly. He's a perfect gentleman. Captain Atwater say you come. Breakfast. We don't want to presume too much on your hospitality, Mr. Atwater, so if we could have the food now, then oh, we... Oh, quite. I've given my people orders to help you with it. Thanks. Miss Wishart, of course, will stay as my guest. Mr. Atwater. He's joking. I never joke, Herrick. It's rather lonely here sometimes, even for a god. I should be so grateful for Miss Wishart's company. And if she stays, you get your stores. And if we refuse? I give you till noon to make your decision. Meanwhile, you're on your own. I have duties to attend to. Oh, by the way, you can't get off the island, you know. I've instructed my subjects. What's wrong with you? Look at me, I ain't grumpy. I'm as cheerful as a canary bird, I am. Yeah, be cheerful. You get some of that acid on your skin. Not on my skin, old boy. How do you think you're going to get close enough to him? It's easy, see? Flag a truce, see? International law. The yeah, respect that he will leaves at the gent. And shoot us down like dogs. Ah, they won't. As far as I hope he won't. I'll go first, see? And carrying the baby in the arms. He's afraid of me, see? Little piece off of him. I don't like it. Don't you? I do. He's had his locks out of us. Now we're going to have our locks out of him. Is that's the ticket. Hell burn to the bone. Will we'll you see it smoke on him like fire? And then we'll have his pearl here. I don't care, but it'll burn you. Only want it half full. See, I don't want it to splash all over me when I crack off the neck of the bottle. Within ten feet of him, and I'll trouble you for Mr. Antibor. I'd kill him before I'd leave you here. If we could get to the beach, we could swim for it. Not much chance of that. Oh, 
coming. Steady on. Now, none of your tricks. Present, see? Your tapina fella. Wine. Savvy? Drink them. Can't you see our intentions are strictly honorable? All right. You come. and saying as how I think you are the genuine article. So I throw myself on your mercy. Fate has declared against us, so we bow the air. Is that what you came to tell me? Oh, no, Governor Lane. No, I come here with a proposition, all fair and above board, as you might say. Now, look, we need provisions, see? And I take it you need champagne. Now, we happen to have two dozen cases of this here elegant champagne in our old see? And if you'll swap the provisions for the champagne, you'll win us for golden crown in heaven. It's a very prime vintage, sir. See? I, I brought along a bottle just to give you a taste, Governor. Yeah, I'll come out. was afraid of broken glass, Governor. See it? Foaming and fizzing. Stop there. Stop there. Off, Herrick. Now we're even. I'm still one up on you, son. you ask him to stop this next bullet from killing him if he's a god. Shoot, Noah! Shoot! Don't listen to him, Noah! Shoot! Noah! You're no god. You're like other men. You get shot. You're afraid. You kill my brother David! No, Jesse, no. I'll give you what you want. I'll give you your freedom. No, 
before they turn on us. Now, let's go. Sabina! Sabina! No shoot Joseph, friend. What do you want? Take him away, Joseph and wife, pretty quick. We'll take you, Joseph, but we need provisions. Me, kid, me, kid. You take along Joseph and wife. Yes. Of course. Masiva! Masiva! For you, Tapina, for take us away from my land. 